Welcome to Startup Pack. Today we're going to go over the Linux crash course number four. And if you haven't seen the first two, or the, excuse me, the first three, I haven't done math very well, uh, the first three uh, videos, make sure you check out the link down below as well as the link up over here, and we will uh, get you hooked up. But today we're going to go over some more Linux tutorials and some Linux helps. And so let's dig in and get started. Welcome to Startup Pack. My name is Spencer Tomlinson. I am the CEO and co-founder of Clean Router, as well as many other products. Here are some lessons that I've learned building a successful business while challenging startup norms. My challenge is to push you to rethink startup success. Welcome to Startup Hack. All right, let's go ahead and dig in and get started. Now, again, in the first couple, we went over a lot of different things. So if you feel like you're diving in, you know, maybe you're, you, you'll gain some useful stuff out here, but I would really, really recommend that you uh, spend some time uh, watching the first couple. So again, links are down below, and I'm gonna try to put them up here. So go and uh, check out those links here. So now, last time we talked about some awesome different commands, CD, you know, make directory, touch, MD5, history, and we started talking about chaining commands. I want to go into a little bit more about grep and about changing com chaining commands. So grep is a super powerful, uh, you know, thing. And what we're really going to go over today is grep sed awk. If you can learn grep sed awk, you're going to be a powerful Linux developer, powerful Linux power user. Grep sed and awk are powerful things. I think they built all of Rome using grep sed and awk. They're amazing. So these are commands that you're going to use. Um, as you can see here, there's a whole novel that flows by here as we start to talk about grep. So much with grep. There's whole courses on grep. There's books on grep. There's volumes and tombs written on grep. So, you know, grep is pretty cool. Basically, grep is used to find things. Grep is a powerful search tool that you can use to search anything. So, as we've talked about multiple times, everything in Linux is a file. So, if you want to go see, you know, for instance, about the memory usage of your machine, you can actually see it here in the meminfo file. Now there's a lot of information that comes in here, but let's say that you're trying to write a program and you need to know how much memory is available, you need to make sure your server's not running out of it, or you're running, uh, you're writing a bash script um, that is going to help you, uh, you know, manage the memory and you're trying to track it. So what you can do is you actually can do a cat, right, which will output the, the memory info, and then you can do the chaining, whoops, do the chaining or the bar, and then do grep, and um, you know, let's do mem. Oops, uh, mem available, available. See if I can spell, and see that's going to actually give you just that one field. So um, there's there's a lot of different ways that we can do this, and we can start to parse stuff. And so if you really even just wanted to get this number, there's actually ways to even parse out the command to just go and get that number. But this is very powerful. Grep can also grep against large files. So, you know, in our previous demo, we had, um, so let's let's go and grab some lorem ipsum. Lorem ipsum. Lorem ipsum, if I can type. So let's go and grab some lorem ipsum here. And we can just grab some text here, right? So let's grab a bunch of text here. And we're gonna go paste it into because we're Linux gurus. So let's do nano lorem txt. And we're gonna paste this bad boy in there and save it. Now, if we wanted to actually say, let's cat lorem ipsum, whoa, that's a lot of stuff, right? Lots of stuff in here. So if we wanna be able to find, and I wanna say, hey, I wanna know all the places that it says lat. Can actually tell me each of the different places in the file, each line that it says, says the word Latin in it. Now again, there's a lot of different things and a lot of different ways you can format to it. So if I look at my grep, help, and I want to say, let's see here. So if we want to say, and we want to say ignore case, you can actually get it to ignore case. Um, you can actually get it to give just the fixed strings. Um, lots of stuff you can do here with the output control. You can say, hey, I want to know the line number that it's on. So let's do n. So let's do that same thing, but now we're going to say dash n and lat. So what this is going to do, it's actually going to include and tell us here, hey, this is on line 14. Uh, this is on line 9. So lots of cool stuff you can do here with grep. So again, grep said awk. 
So let's dig into some of these other ones here. So that's a pretty powerful thing with grep. Uh, you can search large files. It is actually, it is absolutely the fastest thing. I actually frequently will drop files into my Ubuntu system on Windows and will grep against them so fast, so fast. There is no, I, I haven't found anything else that can search as quickly as grep. Um, awk, awk is a pretty powerful tool. And again, awk is kind of nuts. And so there, you know, you're gonna look a lot uh, with different things. So let's go back to uh, some of our examples here. So let's go to this. Uh, actually, let's go to our grep about the mem available, right? Okay, so we wanna say this is grep. Uh, so we found this line, but now we actually wanna try to find just that second field here. So this is where awk is gonna come really into place. So I can say awk, and all right. So what we can do is we can, we're, we're saying, hey, we're catting out this file. We're piping that over to grep. Grep is gonna go find the memory available. So we found just that line. And then we tell awk, hey, I want you to print just the second. And so what this is saying is actually the second um, column. And so that second column, if we hit enter here now, you can see it's this. Now, how did it know what the column was? By default, it's going to default on spaces. So one or more spaces is gonna count as the next column. So again, uh, so mem available. So if we say, and unlike some other Linux things, they are one base. So that's gonna give us mem available. If I said this and did three, it's gonna do the KB. And if I go to say, let's, let's live dangerously and say four, it's not gonna give us anything. So now let's say that we, um, so let's do some of this with our cool file here, right? So we have, um, so let's go into our, an, another cool file, blah, blah, blah. And then we're also gonna do a boo, or let's go foo bar more, okay? So now if I wanna say, Hey, so we're gonna now, so let's cat another cool file. Okay, another file. We're gonna say we wanna grep whatever has foo in it. Give us just that line. Now we can actually use awk then to print, oops, print. Uh, so if we say, obviously, now if we say number one, it's gonna give us, uh, but see, by default, it's actually giving us, uh, it's delineating or splitting based on the commas. So if we actually want it to use a different field separator, when you say, hey, we want you to split, oops, we want you to split on commas. And now it's gonna give me just foo, right? So it becomes super powerful really quick. What if we say we wanna find the line that has foo, but we wanna know the last thing that's shown on there? So you can see this becomes pretty powerful um, as we, um, you can see this becomes pretty powerful as we uh, wanna start writing bash scripts or other type of scripting, um, doing programming against it. Um, this is one of the great things is that you can use uh, awk, grep, and sed um, in other commands. And so if you're writing something and you wanna be able to use these, you can drop back down into the bash and actually use bash to do some pretty cool stuff. All right, now this becomes uh, very powerful to do awk. So we're, we're seeing you know, some basic commands with like cat and then we've got grep and awk. Let's dive into sed a little bit. So sed is not sed as in like you said, it's sed and then we can do various different commands with these, these things. And so if I wanna do an inline sed command, I can actually say I wanna do, and some of this is gonna get really crazy really fast. I can say I want to replace um, something, so I'll, I'm going to paste the command in here. Uh, let me clear really quick so we can make sure you can see here at the top of the video. Um, and so this is the general syntax that you're going to use. So it's said is the I sounds for inline. You're going to say S to go search. G is to replace, and you're going to say replace this with this and then you can do it against some file, right? So now in this case, let's do sed because we've got cat another cool file, right? So this is what's in our another cool file. Let's do sed dash i comma s of we're going to replace. So let's say we want to take blah 
and replace it with uh, moo moo because this is super useful and you'll definitely you know write files with that. And we're going to do this in another cool file. Okay. Now let's see what we got here. Pretty crazy, right? That did it, did it so fast. And the thing about said is said will actually do inline file replaces at an amazing speed. I've been writing code for 25 years. I've never seen anything that can beat said in doing uh, deletions or um, things within a file. Now, there's a couple of other things that you can do here. So uh, let's go edit our my cool file. Oh, not that file. Let's do another cool file. That's the one I was trying to do. Whoa, I don't no idea what I just had. Another cool file. Uh, so let's say we're going to go ahead and add a blah in there. Okay, so now in our other cool, in, our, in another cool file, I'm going to move this up here so we can see a little bit better. Um, so what what we want to actually do is, so let's, let's cat our file here. So that's our file. So let's uh, let's say that we want to only replace um, something that starts with moo moo. So let, let's edit this one more time here. So let's say um, blah and then moo moo. Okay. So now if I want to uh, do the same said command that I just did to replace blah with moo moo, it's only going to do it if you put this little hat on top of it, that means at the front of the line. So it's only going to do these for, because it was at the front of the line. If I had, let's say this is now blah, oops, and we, so we see that it's moo moo blah, right? And I go and run the same said command again, right? With the, with the blah, but now it has a hat. It's actually not going to edit anything because it wasn't the front of the line. So that little hat tells it to, to only do that uh, match, that pattern matching against something that's in the front of the line. Um, next, another interesting thing is so we're going to cat our thing here. Let, we want to delete. So now we're going to show you a delete. This becomes pretty powerful pretty quick. So we're going to do I. We're going to get rid of our S. We're going to say, hey, delete. I'm going to change my, my syntax here. I'm going to say delete. Uh, let's delete um, everything that's every line that has a bar on it. So if, but let's use our hat, right? I'm going to say we're going to do the hat, bar, and then the D. So this command here at the end is what's going to tell it to delete. So if I do this, it's going to, it's going to delete any line that has bar at the front of it. Now, if I remove the hat, it's going to delete anything that has any line that has bar in it. So now, you can see that line is gar gone. Um, and so this becomes a really powerful way, again, to be able to search a file and delete a very specific uh, set of things. It also saves it right back to the file, too. So this is really quick. One of the things that you will love about Linux is its file manipulation is absolutely unmatched compared to Linux or, or compared to Windows or other file, uh, other operating systems. Managing and manipulating files, the file locks on them all are beautiful. Uh, I mean, file lock systems are so uh, sophisticated inside of Linux, you can actually flash the entire kernel while the kernel's running. It's really quite amazing. Whereas Windows, uh, you get into a file lock situation and you gotta reboot, and even then sometimes file locks stay around. So. There's a ton of other things that we can learn with Linux. Linux is extremely powerful, but again, grep, sed, and awk. Those three, your grep, sed, and awk are like, if you can learn how to do these things, you can become a bash uh, scripting master, and you can write some of the most amazing things. As we've written Clean Router, it was an embedded uh, system. Uh, Clean Router is a fantastic product. We've sold a ton of them, um, and so it's a great product to help parents manage their kids um, uh, manage their kids' internet usage and make sure they're not seeing bad things on the internet. So huge plug for Clean Router. Check it out, cleanrouter.com. But also, we love to teach people. If you've loved this course, if you've loved these Linux courses, 
man, dive in where you can get some of the best instruction you can get to become a developer today. Get started on this. I've never regretted it. It's the best career. Become a .dot .net developer in three months, and you can be earning over one hundred thousand a year in no time. So dive right in. Why Startup Pack is right for you? Because you can work remote. You can become a full stack developer. They'll give you a final project for a resume. Um, we have helped train and teach over hundreds of developers. So make sure you check out startuppack.com. It is a fantastic uh, way to become a developer. Um, and so it is, one, it is definitely the best career that you can start on. So that's all of it for our Linux crash courses. If you want to check out more, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Check, up, check out startuppack.com so that you can become an awesome developer today.